My name is Michael, and this is Use Vim. Today we're going to talk about command execution, folding, and reading files into the editor. So I've added a keylogger in the bottom right here to try to help with following along some of the motions. So the first thing we're going to talk about is reading files, which is a method for um, reading the file contents of a file into the buffer that you're editing. So what I'm doing here to demonstrate that is I'm just writing the contents that I just created into a file called useVim. Then I'm using the command uh, colon and R, which stands for read, to paste that file contents into the buffer here. So let's just see that again. Um, I'm going to create a second file called useVim2, which has all three of these lines. And then I'm going to read it in and paste it again. So this might see, not seem that useful, but it's much more powerful with the second thing we're going to do, which is command execution. So the motion here is read, and then use the bang sign to cause a command to execute, which will cause that command output to paste into the editing window. Um, what I have been using this for lately is parsing JSON output. Um, it's a nice way to read something in and then try to chop it up and understand what's going on with it um, with this little motion. So there it was, I read in the command output of a curl command and you see this nice um, format JSON output. Next we're going to talk about folding. So folding is a way to collapse text to make it a little bit easier to display which works particularly well with JSON output in my experience. The first thing we're going to do is just use the indent fold method to cause Vim to automatically define the folds for us. Um, you might have seen earlier I set the shift width to tell Vim to use uh, indents that are four spaces in. So once the folds are defined you can expand and contract them using the motions ZO for open and ZC for close which you can see going in the keylogger here. Also, the ZR command for uh, reduce and ZM command for more allows you to expand all the folds. So there's this concept of um, the fold depth, which I'm not going to spend too much time on here, but essentially ZR and ZM expand and contract everything. Next, if you want to define fold methods yourself rather than to rely on an indent, you can set the method to manual and then use mo um, motions to use... Um, define the fold method. So what you do is you do ZF for fold plus a motion to uh, define the size of the fold. What I'm doing here is I'm doing um, a visual select with the percent sign to go to the next match for a curly brace and then defining that as a fold. So the motion is um, Z, uh, visual select percent and then ZF to define all those folds you just saw there, and you can see how I'm now expanding and collapsing all of this uh, several hundred lines of JSON output into nice parsable, at least by me, files. So we talked about reading file contents, uh, reading file contents, and then pasting the buffer with a command using the bang, and um, setting an indent fold method using the shift width and the number of shifts, z more, uh, z reduce, you're doing manual folds with zf, and then zf plus motion to define uh, a longer fold area, and then uh, I forgot to mention z e to erase all folds, and zo and zc for opening and closing individual folds. If you're new to Vim, where I recommend you start is with the Vim Tutor. Um, it's about a 20 to 30 minute lesson, which covers a lot of the basic movement and motions that's uh, useful for learning Vim.